Product updates are released bi-weekly and include enhancements and fixes. We recommend that product updates are made at minimum every quarter to ensure product quality and so that your club can take advantage of the newest enhancements in our software. If you look at the bottom of your Jonas screen, you can see what product version you are currently on. The version will be labeled with the year of release and the product update number. Let's look at how to download, install, and run a Jonas product update using a four-step process. The first step is to download the latest Jonas version installer, which can be found at jonassupport.com. You can quickly access the website from the News tab directly in Jonas, or by clicking jonassupport.com at the bottom of your screen. Log in with the username and password that has been supplied to you. If you require a username and password, please contact Jonas Support. Click on the Product Updates tab, then scroll down till you find the installer, and go ahead and click the download link. Depending on your security settings, you may be prompted with a warning, but don't worry, go ahead and proceed. Depending on your browser, you may also be prompted to run or open or save or save as. Always select the save or save as choice. Your browser may automatically save the file in your downloads folder. It is recommended to save the file where it is accessible from your server, so typically on your Jonas drive or a shared company drive. You should see a download screen or progress indicator depending on your browser. Jonas installers are very large and depending on your connection may take a while to finish. If you are unable to download an installer due to slow internet connections, please contact Jonas Support. You will also want to download the Jonas Club Help version as well. The second step is to make sure that no Jonas files are open, which means that no workstations can be running Jonas when the update is running. All interfaces must be stopped and all users must be logged out and completely closed out of Jonas. You can utilize the server manager to close any open files or sessions, or if needed, restart your server to close these. This step must be completed before continuing to the next step. The third step is to log into your server as an administrator and locate the newly downloaded file. It should be labeled similar to what you see on screen. Go ahead and double click on the file to start running as an administrator. Alternately, you can right click and select run as administrator. This will open the installation program where you can go ahead and click next. In the select destination directory screen, confirm the file path for where your Jonas is installed. Click browse to choose an alternative folder. If the installation program fails to find the path to your activation, the software installation will stop with a warning message. If this problem persists, please contact Jonas Support. Go ahead and click Next and Next. The last question you will be asked to answer is if you would like to prevent other users from starting up Jonas for the first time on another machine after the installer is completed. If you select Yes, you must start Jonas for the first time on this machine. If you select No, Anyone will be able to open Jonas for the first time after the product update is finished running. It is recommended to select yes. That way, as soon as the installer is completed, only you can open Jonas and make sure the installer ran successfully and confirm there was no problems. You may receive one more prompt, just confirming that you want to upgrade your version. Click yes to proceed. The installation will now begin and can take a couple minutes to run. The installation completed screen will appear upon completion of the installer. Click Finish. If the following Windows Install screen appears, click Cancel as you do not need to restart your machine. Now that the update is complete, the last step is to start Jonas for the first time after running the product update. When you open Jonas, the program will automatically start rebuilding the screens and data files. Remember that if you answered yes to the load location question, you can only start Jonas up on the machine where you ran the installer. Once this procedure has been completed and the Jonas login screen appears, all other users can start Jonas on their terminals and all interfaces can be started up again. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.